Reading the periodic table. All of the known elements in the universe are organized into a chart called the periodic table of elements. Today, we are going to learn how to properly read it. There are 118 known elements. The periodic table organizes these elements according to their characteristics and atomic structure. The chart has several parts that you can easily identify, which we will discuss in a minute. Before we get into the details of how to read the periodic table, let's quickly review some atom and element related basics. Atoms are the building blocks of all matter in the universe and are the smallest particles in an element. An element is a pure substance made from only one type of atom. The structure of each atom and each element includes protons, neutrons, and electrons. Every element has an atomic number, which is the same number as the element's protons. The number of protons plus neutrons determines an element's mass number. An element's atomic weight is determined by averaging the weights of all of the different versions or isotopes of a particular element. Now, let's break things down and learn how to read and understand the periodic table. First, each element has a proper name and a chemical symbol. Most of the symbols begin with the same letter as the element's name, but there are some exceptions. For example, the chemical symbol for gold is AU because the Latin word for gold is aurum. The elements are arranged in rows and columns. The rows place the elements in order of their atomic number, and the columns form groups of elements that have similar properties. You read the periodic table from top left to bottom right. Hydrogen is first on the periodic table because it has an atomic number of 1. H is its symbol and its atomic weight of 1.008 is listed at the bottom. Its proper name, hydrogen, is color-coded to show that its state of matter is a gas. Hydrogen is also in group 1. Carbon, on the other hand, is a solid. Its symbol is C. Its atomic number is 6. And its atomic weight is 12.011. Carbon is in group 14. Remember how some elements have symbols different than their proper names? Do you remember the symbol for gold? It's AU. Gold is a solid, with an atomic number of 79 and an atomic weight of 196.966569. It is in group 11. Right next to gold on the table is mercury, another element with a unique symbol, HG. Unlike gold, though, mercury is a liquid. Because mercury is to the right of gold on the periodic table, we know that mercury's atomic number is one greater than gold's, so it is 80. Mercury's group is also one greater than gold's, so it is in group 12. The element's atomic weight is 200.592. Now, it is your turn to read the periodic table. Find the element bromine. What group is bromine in? What is bromine's atomic number? What is its symbol? How about its atomic weight? Is bromine a solid, a liquid, or a gas? Yep, it is a liquid. Well done, everybody! Understanding the way that the periodic table of elements is organized will help you better understand the ingredients that make up all matter. And perhaps one day you will use this knowledge in the scientific field of your choosing. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.